a fairly close call here. I mean, not so much on the rate side, obviously, but specifically on the asset purchase program. We, we had three members of the MPC, including Sir Mervyn King, backing another 25 billion in February. Um, we expect that those members probably maintained their calls with even more discussion about the pros and cons of supplying further stimulus to the economy. And what does this do then for uh, UK assets, particularly sterling and gilts? Um, obviously, you might expect sterling getting a pop up, up around half a cent, cable back up towards 150 and a half. Uh, will that continue for the next few days, do you think? Well, I'm not sure how long it will continue. I, I think what we're beginning to witness is a realisation that the authorities in general are very keen on trying to push monetary stimulus further. And um, that we expect to weigh on the UK currency for, for some time to come. But certainly, sterling had been pushed down this morning on extra speculation that there, there could be an increase in the asset purchase programme today. As I said, they're cable back up to 150.5, euro sterling down to 86.5, and the 10 year yield up uh, two or three basis points to 197. Um, does this mean that then more QE, more easing is, all, uh, is almost certain next month? Well, I don't know about almost certain. Um, we, we're increasingly of the view that we will get more QE, and, and perhaps you never know, you know, a fairly aggressive programme of QE to try and get the economy into you know, the current buzz term, escape velocity. Um, whether it happens next month, I think, might depend on a number of factors. Uh, the MPC could potentially wait until May to see what its latest growth and inflation forecasts are saying um, before making a decision. But once again, we, we could have a finely balanced verdict again in April. Uh, of course, and uh, perhaps uh, Governor Mervyn King outvoted again. Well, Sure, you know, um, it, it's not a particularly good thing if it happens every month. But um, the fact that the governor can be outvoted from time to time, my own opinion is that that's a very positive feature of the UK monetary arrangements. It, it does demonstrate that individual members of the Monetary Policy Committee do have an independent vote.